What's good? What's good with you? As you already know, with Convict's perspective, is your boy Big Flacco coming live and direct, smashing, dashing, sliding on through with a little bit of energy. And as you guys already know, you guys heard from Gunner, Rojo has elected to focus more on his family, um, a new career that he has, and so forth, man. And um, you know, let's first put it out there so everybody gets a clear understanding. There's been no issues at all between us at all, except for timing, different schedules, and so forth. You know, uh, as you guys know, I've been trying to push both, push all kinds of channels and do all kinds of things at the same time, and I've been trying to grind as hard as I can, you know, to keep ACP alive while, while still trying to do the independent thing and, and whatnot. Um, and it was hard to come together at certain times to do certain content, you know. Um, Rojo's, Rojo's career is going to take priority over everything else, you know, and uh, I don't think that there was an issue as far as with, with content ideas, because even if one of us didn't agree with the other person's topic they wanted to run, we we were either supportive or we just didn't want to do it, and that would be it there. It would be end of discussion. Um, you know, uh, we were trying to acquire so much different avenues to get the channel revamped where it needed to be while he's working and it was hard to balance everything out you know if you guys notice i've been doing everything a lot lately i mean he started to come back when the channel started to be brought back but then he had to go back to work and i was getting burnt out like i told you guys and um you know i think rojo kind of took the the uh the initiative for me I, to be honest with you on a lot of aspects um you know because if he's he's got a good career going on a good opportunity and he sees that I'm putting in a lot of work. It's like, okay, well, you know what? I'll just focus on the Rojo room where he got his career. If he could, you know what I mean, if he could just do decent on that channel, revitalize re, uh, that channel and, and keep it going, he's going to be good. You know what I'm saying? Um, this was almost being discussed many different times. A couple of weeks ago, he almost wanted to leave. Um, I almost wanted to leave. And it was nothing to do with anything personal. It was not even, I don't even, I don't, I don't really, I like Gunner Spill, but I don't know the business aspect of it. The only business aspect of it is things were not, the genre is oversaturated. It's hard just to have one platform working with two individuals. That's what it came down to on a lot of it. You know, whereas opposed to last year, everything, there was a lot less channels. The views were a little bit higher. You know, our, our, one day we could get 20,000 views, next day 3,000. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, Robo doesn't want to do a, a video if we're only going to get 3,000 and 4,000 views. You know, um, which is understandable, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, there's no uh, harsh feelings. There's no attitudes. This has been discussed. Like, Gunner's the one that told me, he goes, man, you just need to take over ACP and let Rojo just focus on his career and focus on the Rojo role. You know, Rojo likes to do the lives. I don't, I'm not too successful at the lives. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I'm not really, uh, I don't have as much time in the nighttime to, to do a live. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I will a little bit now. Who knows, man? Uh, I do plan on revamping this channel and changing a whole lot of different things. Um, Real talk with Flacco, I don't know what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do with that channel. I have a couple different ideas. Um, I'm gonna talk to a couple people. Um, if not, I may go back to this one being focused on this and this being focused on something different. I haven't really came up with a format, but I think by the uh, August 1st, you guys will get an idea of what direction that I plan on going. And so, what I first and foremost, what I plan on doing is I'm gonna launch some major, major interviews. I'm gonna start recording a couple probably in the next few days, but I'm not gonna drop them now. I'm gonna drop them on the first and go from there. You know, um, so I'm lining all that stuff up. And uh, you know, convict's perspective is gonna be like, like basically it could be whatever I want it to be created. You know, um, but before we really didn't really have a set platform. You know, which is what I want to probably is what I'm probably gonna continue on. You know what I mean? We could be doing it. I could be doing a spill one day, exclusive news, um, an interview. Whatever it may be, you know, historical, current, whatnot. There's no, you know, there's no reason to sit there and, and make a channel one direction. Because I think if you have a, a variety, you'll get a lot more different, you know, subscribers and followers. And I think I could pay a little bit more attention to everything that I need to pay attention to now. I think I could focus and do more longer videos, not um, rushing to do this and do that and trying to balance everything out. You know, um, you know, YouTube could can become a grind sometimes, you know, and, um, you know, there was, like I said, I want, I want to be very clear. There's no animosity. There's no, there was no issues. You know, I've been talking about it for a minute with him. Like, what do you want to do, bro? You know what I'm saying? Cause we can, we both can't continue down this path right now. You know what I'm saying? With the, 
where we were going. And, uh, you know, it, it was less about, I think the business opportunities, which Gunnar's talking about, is that he wants to go outside the prison genre. He wants to explore the, those, like, reactions and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm pretty much, as everybody knows, man, I'm pretty much on the outer circle of everybody's shit. You know what I'm saying? Which I'm fine with. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty much solo. You know what I mean? I'm not in on the ends and I'm not on the out of what's going on over here with this person or that person. I'm pretty much, I run solo. And I'm okay with that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm still going to do the best of my ability. Um, this is probably going to re-energize me a little bit. You know? Because, um, you know, it, it gets frustrating. And Rojo understands this, that, you know, when, when you're trying to have schedules and, you know, he got to schedule with his kids, you know what I'm saying? He got to schedule with his work now and everything. And I got my schedule too that I got going on. So it would kind of offset things. Like a couple of times he's telling me, hey, I'm ready to do an interview, a video at 2.30. I'm like, bro, I can't, you know what I'm saying? And there was a lot of lost, he lost a lot of motivation. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you got a topic, you got a topic. I'm like, what do you want to discuss? What do you want to do? You know, and uh, I think when you do something for yourself though, and you uh, uh, allow it to blossom, you start to see the, the, uh, the benefits of it, you know what I mean? Um, it was really hard to uh, uh, have two channels that were almost different. For a minute, we all got away from Convict's Perspective, you know what I mean? And I think Convict's Perspective will be my primarily channel. Um, I'm not so sure what I'm going to do with Real Talk with Flacco right now. I have a couple ideas, right? And um, I'm reaching out to a few people. And that's not even for me to be on that channel, put it that way. You know what I'm saying? Because it does have almost 16,000 subscribers. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh there was no funk. There was no uh, issues. There was no conflict. There was no none of that. Ro just texted me right now. I'm like, man, look at this. This dude say I'm putting pressure on you to do a fucking certain video. Come on, man. We never put pressure like that. Only pressure I said is, motherfucker, you got to do a video or live. What's up? Where you at? You know what I mean? And I kind of knew what was going on when, because uh, uh, he had already told me a couple times, I'm almost done. And, and it had nothing to do with the uh, personal interactions. It's just sometimes, uh, uh, you know, when your channel hits a certain uh, a level, you know what I'm saying, you're, 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 everybody's throwing spaghetti trying to make something work at the same time, and you start to come to realize that, okay, we all have different lives, and it's not going to be able to coexist unless everybody picks it up on the same pace, and sometimes people lose motivation, you know what I'm saying, me, you know what I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'd be grinding, but now I think I can do a little bit better, uh, better effort to some things, man, you know what I mean, I'm going to probably have to try to, uh, there's a couple things I need to do to make this channel look more uh, professional. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to work on that. Um, but it's been a grind for us, man. And we push out a lot of shit, man. You know? Um, individually, it'd probably be better for both of us. You know? Because I got three... I think I got three channels right now. You know? I got the one with Toko, but we don't really do as much because Toko's busy as well, man. Um, the Real Talk one. I, I dropped something on there every day lately. And see, I started to... to to leave Real Talk with Flacco alone to put focus on, on Convict's perspective because we have the bigger subscriber base over there. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he just, bro, just texted me, he's at work, see? <laughs> I'll send him a message afterwards, man. But nah, there ain't no fucking animosity. I see a couple of the viewers saying, well, I can see this. Man, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? You guys don't know everything that goes behind the scenes, man. Everybody has a different type of uh, uh, way in which you figure out what's going to be the best interest and a lot of this believe it or not rose doing the best interest of me believe it or not and i'll be the first to tell you guys that you know what i'm saying but also rojo knows i'm going to put the effort into it and if i know it, it's it's and if i know right now the situation how it's going to turn i'm gonna put a lot more energy into it now you know what i'm saying as, as far as spreading myself out too short you know so um yeah that's pretty much it man i'll probably go live in a little bit and discuss it um I don't want people to sit there and think, oh, that there's issues, there's funk, or Gunner had anything to do with it. I talked to Gunner about this a few times. He's like, man, why don't you fucking just do what you do? You know what I'm saying? You, you should take care of a conflict's perspective. You know what I'm saying? Figure out what you want to do with Real Talk. Either bring Toko over here or do something else um, on the Real Talk one. Or, uh, uh, you know, fo figure out one that you want to primarily focus on and have that secondary channel. You know, um... I work hard, you know, I, I do have a lot of responsibilities, you know what I mean, I got my son right here right now, and you know what I mean, I, I'm married as well, and I got a household, so, uh, you know, this has took a lot of toll on me and my effort, man, into uh, the things I should be prioritizing at home, because it got it gets stressful, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, uh, I neglected a lot of my responsibilities on the home front because of this, and this is why I almost left a couple weeks ago, man, you know, <laughs> I felt that I was getting away from 
you know, being the person I used to be and, and I need to get back to that person, you know, because certain things were affecting me, you know, personally, and it was just making me spread myself all around trying to do what I got to do. You know, there's a lot of things like, you know, we don't talk on the platform about, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, as you guys know, one of them was uh, my son for a minute. I mean, now he's here. Um, so I'm, I'm human like anybody else. And uh, I don't sometimes reflect or understand or, or see the actions of myself sometimes in what I'm doing because I'm so fixated on one goal and one objective because I know what is needed to get to where I need to get or what I need to do because I've been out there in life and experiences the hardships, the stumbling blocks, and the struggles, man. And sometimes you have to sacrifice in order to get where you need to get. It's just like an adult game. You got to sit there and push and push and push and go further and sacrifice more and be willing not to capitalize in the beginning just to get up to there. Same thing on YouTube sometimes, man. But you life hits you and shows up, man. And then sometimes, you know, uh, uh, me, I don't see the whole picture sometimes as much as I like to believe. It's easy for me to tell everybody else to be analytical. But when it comes to my personal life, I'm not always analytical, you know. And, uh, yeah, there was a lot of pressure being put on recently. And, uh, you know, I was on roll. Like, what you doing? What we doing? You going to do the lives? <laughs> you know, for a minute, I was like, I'll just do the content. You do the lives. You know, um, I think I think that's Rojo's thing, too. I think he's going to do reaction videos, I think. And I think he's going to do his lives. You know, he does good on the lives. People like his interactions. You know, um, they like his, you know, him laughing, falling out the chair and stuff like that, playing the music and so forth, man. Me, I got a whole different stilo. Either you like it or you don't. I can't change for nobody. You know, um, if I start to joke around, I'm like, <laughs> it's all it's all bad. You know what I mean? It's all bad. People are going to get offended. But anyways, um, yeah, so this is a goal that I have in mind, man. Um, you know, if, if anything ever changes in our lives to where we decide to maybe do a, a comeback, th those doors will be open. I think maybe that's a possibility once we get established ind individually. You know, we did so good as a team, and we do do good content. Everybody tells us that, you know what I mean? And, you know, there's no yin and yang with me and him. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we think along the, along the lines of the same concept and perspective of things. You know, um, he's more a little bit more uh, uh, concise. I'm a little bit more elaborative. You know what I'm saying? That's the only difference. But if when we're talking and we break things down and we look at things, a lot of times we're seeing things as, as the same way through the same lens. So that wasn't the issue, you know. I think we did a pretty good job um, rubbing off on each other, you know, piggybacking. Um, it would help me at times. So now it's going to be a little bit, a whole different, um, whole different type of feeling now, you know what I'm saying? But we haven't really been doing as much as been hit and miss, you know. And like I said, life shows up for people, and you got to do what's in the best interest of you. Because if it wasn't him leaving, it probably would have been me leaving pretty soon. And it had nothing to do with our content. It had nothing to do with topics. It had nothing to do with any of that. He was growing a little disinterested, though. You know what I'm saying? When we're doing a video, and and like he said, we're doing videos, and they're bangers, and fucking we're getting like 4,000 views, that's it. It can become a little frustrating, you know? Do the math on that, you know? So, you know what I mean? When stuff, stuff starts to get oversaturated, you got to explore different options. And that's what we're going to be, that's what's really being done right now, man. And I think real talk, I got to sit there and analyze what I'm going to do with that channel, you know? So if you guys have any ideas, comment, man. Let me know. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm still probably going to drop some content, but I'm thinking about... I'm really going to probably revamp everything on, on uh, August 1st. I have a lot of different ideas. You know what I mean? Um, so we'll see what happens from there. You know? If if uh, the other options don't come in that I want to do, I think what I'm going to do on Real Talk is going to be less about prison and gangs and more about community issues and so forth. And just have discussions. You know what I mean? The thing about that is, you know, you don't get as many views, you know, but you hope to pick up an algorithm eventually with one of your topics, you know, um, you know what I'm saying? Instead of putting everything in one basket, keep this all gangs, convicts, perspectives, streets, laws, and so forth like that, profiles, interviews, you know what I mean? And in that channel, I may do something a little bit different, you know, I got, diff I got a lot of different ideas, you know what I'm saying? Um, and we'll see what happens from there, you know, um. You know, the conference perspective, we had a very good run, and, and it's not going away. It's, the same name's going to stay and everything. I'm not going to put a conference perspective with Flock or nothing. I'm going to keep it just the way it is. You know, no changing, no nothing. Um, and we're going to see what's going to happen from here. You know, uh, thanks, thanks to everybody who supported Rojo and myself as a team. Um, you know, we're still going to be supportive of each other. 
You know, I'm pretty much, as everybody knows, I pretty much keep to myself a lot. I'm not interacting with all these different functions, these activities and, and whatnot. I, you know, it's just, it's just the way it works for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens from here. Anyways, your boy Flacco. Salutes to everybody out there. Respects. Um, like I said, put any different ideas that you guys have, man, that you guys may want to see with the other Real Talk Flacco channel. We may change the name. Um, I got a couple ideas, but I don't want to put it out there to you guys too soon. You know what I mean? Anyways, I'm out.